Hello folks, welcome back to the channel. My name is Joel Duggan. If you're tuning in for the first time, big thank you to Mind Trip Media for that 100 bits. Really appreciate it, of course. Lurking in the background. It's a pretty chill, chill uh, stream, folks. If you want to lurk and work or do the laundry or walk the dog or whatever it is you want to do, then I appreciate the extra eyeballs on the stream. You get to help me out and have a chill time. Sweet Sandy Blast Jordan. Real Y Jan, hello. Haven't seen you in a bit. I think I saw Crosshatch here earlier too. Hope everyone's having a good day. It's a rainy day here in Dartmouth today. <clears throat> I was out doing doing errands all morning. But they're done. That's good. I was waiting to sleep here. By the time I get outside, it'll be another 30 seconds and the sun will be going down. It's surprisingly dark here today, actually. it's Not only is it just raining here in, in Dartmouth, but it's also, like, really dark cloud cover. Cosmic Dancer resubbed at Tier 1 71 months in a row. Dropping this off before I, before I go see my dad again, have a lovely stream, says Cosmic. Cosmic, thanks so much for the support, as always. And uh, I think I speak for all of the folks here in the chat when I say give our best to your dad. I'm sure your dad would be just like, who are these people? Doesn't matter. Doesn't matter, Cosmic Dad. You don't need to know us to accept the well wishes. I just realized I'm not using any of my textures. The note block was a good giveaway. Uh, resource packs. Yeah, I took a screenshot for... Yes, I took a screenshot for the spawn chunks. That one. Programmer art. I think that's everything. Should be good. I'm going to have to update my texture pack along with all of the mods, everything. Yeah. Crates. My hoe was the first thing I saw. I saw the ugly blue diamond texture in my inventory. I was like, that's not right. We don't do the ugly diamonds around here. So we're on the Citadel server as usual outside of West Hill. And we're just going to pick up where we left off. Uh, that might involve talking to this guy. I think a lot of these are similar to what I already had. Yeah. I'm not worried about it. Which means short stint for you today. I really wish there was a better way to get rid of these guys. They will just be in my face for the entire stream. Speaking of. L Phoenix coming in with a raid. You saw nothing. Nothing, L Phoenix. Witnessed nothing at all. Welcome in, folks. Hope you're having a good day. Mythical Emmy. Nope. That is not, not what you saw. You are mistaken. <laughs> uh, folks coming in, uh, if you are new, my name is Joel Duggan. I do the Spawn Chunks podcast with Pixel Riffs, and I do the Citadel Cafe podcast with myself and other friends. Well, I don't podcast with myself. It is hosted by me, and then I have other friends on the show. We talk about sci-fi and fantasy stuff. And today we are working on the pumpkin farm, picking up where we left off. Folks, if you want to know what Mythical Emmy was up to on stream, by all means, follow that heart at the top of chat. Go say hi. Hi. 
Sorry, Mythical Emmy was not the Raider. They are one of the Raidees. It was Ellie Phoenix that was the Raider. No, sorry, I got that backwards. I think it was because Ellie L Phoenix was the first one to say Raid in chat. Uh, ahead of the Mythical Emmy Raid Party of Six. Sorry, Mythical. Uh, folks, go follow Mythical Emmy. See what they're up to on stream. If you got time, uh, Emmy, before you take off, uh, by all means, let us know what you're doing. Were you playing Minecraft? Were you doing a project? What was the what was the day like? Might as well turn off the shaders, I guess. Minecraft, working on an elven forest. Built a gazebo and a lot of trees. Very cool. I've not done any kind of elvish stuff in Minecraft before. I find elvish stuff in my head always feels very pointy. And so I find that difficult to do. But that does sound amazing. Uh, I'm sure I'm forgetting something. Oh, mangrove wood. I think that's it now. You always do something fantasy and medieval? Well, you're in luck, because this is a fantasy medieval town. Uh, and we left off doing these pumpkin patches. Just realized I need vines and ferns and grass. And we need to finish them up. That's the main, main thing we're working on today, is just finishing these up. Thanks. Here, I'll give you a quick... Quick overview. So they're custom pumpkin patches. So they're not meant to be harvested. This is just straight up normal decorative stuff. And then we've got potatoes and carrots over here, compost pile, duck pond. And I've not yet done the wall over here. So when we do the rest of these pumpkins, the next step is going to be to finish up this wall. Similar to how we've got it done over here. Sneak peek of the city. This is three and a half years of medieval town. I've had a lot of fun doing this. A lot of work, but just keeping consistent with it. Everything's got an inside. It's all decorated. We've been kind of putting the finishing touches on this little valley out here. Kind of fillish. Uh, fill in the, the blanks. All right, I think we can start off here. Got seeds. I would say this is probably going to be one that we need to grow. Yeah, I'll do. Pumpkin there and I'll stop it with a trapdoor over here.
I like that looks good. So this is a usually a pretty slow process. But it does look good in the end. What are you using the axe for in the pumpkin? What am I using the axe for? What do you mean? This? This is just sitting there as decoration. You know, this, that might be better off as brown. I don't think I have any coarse dirt. Your streams are good, chilled background noise. Once in a while, peeking over to see what's being made. Thanks very much. I appreciate that. Yeah, this is the pumpkin patch that you've been hearing about on the uh, on the Spun Chunks podcast. Yep, totally. This is it. I had a really strange comment on YouTube the other day on one of the VODs. Someone said, it's really nice to come here and watch the VOD and see the pumpkin patch that you've been working on. It would be really nice if in the video version of the Spawn Chunks podcast, which exists on YouTube since episode 300, if you would show visuals, like if you would show images of it. And I'm just like, we do. Like Johnny does a really good job of putting up screenshots of the builds that we're doing when we talk about our quick login. So I'm not sure what version of the podcast that this commenter was was viewing, but like we 100% have have visuals. I don't know why it was so strange to for them thinking that we didn't. Not sure what to put in there. I guess we could put another bush. That does feel very flat though. Maybe we'll do that. Yeah, that's better. I don't think there was another spot where I wanted to have the pumpkin grow from. I guess I could do it there.
That hasn't grown yet. Wait and see what's happening. Listen on Spotify while you're at work. Very cool. We're still working on getting a video version of, uh, of the Spawn Chunks up on Spotify. Maybe the timing thing, as you're talking about it, it doesn't show immediately. I'd say they should pay more attention. <laughs> Johnny could maybe work on timing. Uh, it could be a host of things. Uh, yeah, I, there, we've received feedback that the first time that Johnny did it, that the images were not up there long enough. But leaving them up there longer is easy. Like, that's not a hard thing to do. Um, I thought they were up for a good chunk of time. I don't think that it was anything too short, but but I, I see your point. Uh, there's definitely a lot of people that will send us a message about the spun chunks and they email us without listening to not just the full episode, but like without listening to the full segment. Like we'll be talking about the news and someone will email saying, oh, I don't agree with this or I, I really think you should have talked about this. And this is like, if you had listened for another four minutes, then we did. <laughs> you know, so what, why, 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 I don't know how people will just stop, you know, stop listening to a, a podcast mid thought to send an email when it's just like, but you, you have to let the hosts finish what they're talking about before you can comment on it. It's so bizarre. Oh yeah, there's always, we're still learning a bunch of different things about the video part. I agree. I'm just going to replace all of this grass. The, fur, the um, moss just looks so much better with the pumpkins. Some of this might get replaced again, but for now, do it like this. Man, I'm going to have to be careful today. This is making me a little seasick. Anybody else feel that when you do a lot of work in Minecraft where you're looking at the ground? I find I get a little bit dizzy. like to try and fit in something else over here. This feels a little bit strange. Maybe I'll switch to the other one. a bit better maybe this would be a good spot to have the the bush kind of trickle over I 
could work. Can you bone meal ferns like you can grass and flowers or do you need to shear them in the wild? You need to shear them. So you can bone meal it to get two. And you shear it and you'll get two back. So I've got 22. Now I've got 24. Uh, whereas if you see just one, I've got 23 and then 24. But yeah, you can't punch them like flowers. You've got to use shears. L Phoenix, thanks so much for the follow. I appreciate you coming in and sticking around for a bit with that raid. And hopefully we'll see you again. Appreciate it. This is actually coming together a lot faster than I thought it was going to. So that's good. I like faster. That's unlucky. Vampire Mate says, you inspired my build on Bedrock, how I'm doing my city and surrounding areas just like Westall. That's really cool. Thanks very much. That's always really cool to inspire people. I hope I can inspire people to do longer builds. Like, I think that a lot of these projects are, you know, the, it's not necessarily that I'm building Westall a specific way. It's that I've been taking my time and building it over three years. And I think that that's kind of starting to rub off on people a little bit you know it's hard when like the big servers like hermitcraft they reset every year and a half or so and so it's um there's always this fresh start i mean they play so much and they accomplish so much like i i totally understand it i'm not not saying that's a bad thing but uh yeah it's one of those situations where you know you'd want to um if you want to try and do a longer longer session, like a longer project, you know, two years, six years. The Citadel's been around for seven years now. Westall's been around for three and a half, almost four. It'll be four in November, I think. This is a tricky section. I might have to cut out some pumpkins. I feel like one of these might have to go. Yeah, I think that helps a bit. Maybe one of these as well. I 
I think that looks pretty good. Sweet Sandy, thank you for being awesome. Hermitcraft is also a bit notorious for only doing the f um, fronts of their builds. Yeah, that's true too. Not everybody. Tango uh, on Decked Out really did a lot of like detail and in the round work, which I thought was really cool. I don't want to put a double double fern here. Just for fun. Maybe we'll move this. Yeah, I feel like that's pretty good. Feels a little bit low here, but then that's the wall. Maybe this is too much. Yeah, that's a bit better. Cool. Oh yeah, no, they, they totally make jokes about it. I, I agree, Meadow. Yeah. I I feel like I was probably guilty of that early on. Or I would build a lot of redstone farms where like the face of the redstone farm would be like where that waterfall is. Just like it would be on the face of the mountain. And then inside the hill, I didn't have to worry about building the back because it was just meant to be like a, a cave type thing. So I got around it that way. I guess I could try putting one here. I usually don't like cutting off the, the path like that. That's pretty good.
maybe here. I feel like that looks pretty good. That feels a little bit straight. Maybe we need to switch this out here. Nope, definitely better with the other wood. Obu, subscribing at tier one. 30 months, the big three zero. Thanks ever so much. Really appreciate the support. Hope you're having a good day. Justin Tunes, hello, hello. Rocking that two month Keystone badge, the Earth badge. Maybe there instead. Nope. Something needs to happen over here. I might have missed your question, Justin. Let me just quick. Uh, do you practice in creative to get better at building? What are your tips other than practice, practice, practice? Uh, I would say the opposite. I would say actually uh, just jump into survival and do it there because uh, if the goal is to get better at survival Minecraft gameplay, then I think you should spend most of your time in that in that mode. Um you get a false sense of how quickly it is to come together in creative. Uh, you have tools at your disposal that you might not in survival. And I think a lot of your decisions in survival are also based on economy. It's, you know, like, do I want to build this out of this really, really hard to get block? Or will there, is there another block that's in my existing, you know, inventory or not inventory, maybe storage that I can use instead? You know? Not that. That's not bad. Oh, that's going to be a pumpkin, isn't it? Ah, uh, yeah. You know what? I think we're actually going to remove this. And then I'll have that pumpkin grow in this direction. And maybe this is where we'll put this. And then maybe I'll move this one. tough
Maybe we'll switch this instead. That's a little bit better. I actually don't mind that there's a fence there. We might actually do that on purpose. Kind of cool. I think for the most part, we've got the textures done. That's all of that laid out. I'll come back and think about what we want to do for the fences. Good tips to use what is available to you early on. Also reference photos are okay to use. Not everyone has uh, to be familiar. Oh yeah, I use reference photos all the time. Uh, do I have one? Yeah, there's the house. The roof palette inspiration. I mean, it's not exact, but it definitely, you might probably can see it better from the front. In terms of the color palette, right? Very similar. That's where I got my idea from. All right, I think we can connect the textures here. I was going to do more stone. Maybe I won't. Oh, I should put some small pumpkins in that patch too. good now I don't know how much wood we're gonna end up using in these stairs I'd probably like to put at least some spruce planks in them it would make sense have some trapdoors but I do out front I don't remember CJ good to see you really fun to have that music conversation in uh, discord chat as well
I've got no idea whether this is going to be covered with bushes or what. We'll figure out what's happening there a little bit later. So with stuff like this, I try to think about the direction that people would be walking, like coming in here and kind of doing an S-curve up, up there, trying to make it look, oh, maybe not like that, look like that's what's happening. Probably will end up grabbing some stairs as well, using some of those to kind of get off the Minecraft grid. Because I find that this doesn't look big enough, but if we put a stair here, it adds a half block there. Oh yeah, I use anything. I use real world photos, I use concept art, I use other Minecraft builds. Use whatever you want to get inspiration, right? This could almost be a bush. Maybe I'll go with Azalea though. Just soften this up a bit. like it. Yeah, that totally works. Nice. wait and take care of the rest of that later. I feel like this would definitely have another bush though. Won't go into too much detail because I want to incorporate that into the wall, but I think that would make a lot of sense there.
Inventory full. Yeah, no kidding, right? Always seems to be the case. Uh, I think I like that better. Nope. That feels a little bit strange. A little bit better. like one more a little bit of texture in the middle here somewhere maybe some gravel is what i need maybe that'll make a difference one grew. Do I like the fence there? Don't know if we have any other fences along here. We've got one there. Mm, that's kind of in the way of that, so we'll get rid of this. I think that's good the way that it is. Yeah, if anything, I think we maybe put, keep that fence there. Maybe what we end up doing is having this be a spruce trap tour. You can still see the stem, but it looks like it's meant to wrap around. It kind of directs you this way too, which is good. Yeah, I really don't feel like we need anything else. We could do a little something there, but not really needed. I think I like that gravel. Not bad. I might have to like add in another one somewhere. Also put one up here too. Hmm. 
Nope. Maybe squeeze it in here. No, sometimes less is more. All right, I think that's good for the textures. I don't think I've forgotten anything. That seems to connect pretty well. Yeah, feels pretty natural. Nice. So I'll keep mangrove azalea. Keep the, oh, I need to do the small pumpkins, don't I? I actually want these back. And then for the wall, we'll have to switch gears. First hour. Well, I was just about to sleep, but maybe what I'll do is we'll take the advantage. Let the darkness pass while we're sleeping. Thank you for the heads up, Sandy. I was just thinking it might be a good time to take a break. For folks that just came in with that raid from Mythical Emmy, uh, mythically Emmy. Sorry, I missed the Y. Uh, I take a break about once an hour. I've been live for about an hour now, so I'm going to step away for a few minutes. Reheat the coffee, grab a drink. You should too. Grab a friend, grab a snack. Uh, we are trying to grow the channel, so if you could spread the word around, I would very much appreciate it, and I'll be back in five or six minutes.
I hit the wrong button. Thanks, Blast Jordan. Thanks, Sweet Sandy. J. Chris, hello. Welcome in. Oh, there's a skeleton there. I didn't even see him. This might need more, a little bit more going on. We're gonna grab all the stone blocks that I was using. Mossy bricks. Need some mossy brick stairs. Slabs. And regular cobble. Also, double check, pumpkin still hasn't grown. Uh, I also wanted to put in a, a small pumpkin somewhere. I feel like this would be a good spot for one. Maybe break this up a bit. I think I want to make this one a small one. Mm. I think I feel I have to choose between the two, I think. What we could do is we could make a medium sized one there. Let's do that. Styles, no gravity. Yeah, that feels pretty good. I might nudge it a little bit closer.
cool. Yeah, that keeps the variety up, I think. Mirage, hello. Welcome in. Thanks for coming by. I think we have all we need to do the wall. That's the pallet. I'm just going to walk around the other side and give myself a refresher. Yeah, I like that you can move things around with the armor stand too. So we've got it broken down pretty heavily in spots. Lots of very low, low spots for things to jump over. And lots of bushes. Lots of mossy cobble. It's so one thing I want to look at before I... I'm going to move from left to right here, but I think what I want to do first is I thought that this looks a little bit strange just on its own, so I thought this could maybe be Stonewall as well. Yeah, that makes sense. And then I can come in here. Maybe even go double on that. works. Maybe we go grass here instead. Yeah, that works. Maybe I'll go cracked stone there. How did I do the front gate? It's Java. Java edition. Yeah, I've never pl I never play on Bedrock. I tried for a little bit on um, on Xbox. It just wasn't my thing. Java to me just seems so much faster. I was trying to think about what we could put in this space, but we could probably put a gate in that space and a bush behind it maybe. So we don't have to cover that. We could probably do it. Yeah, that might work. Hmm, how do we hook it up? Oh, that doesn't work either. That's too narrow. I guess we have to start a little bit farther there.
Java to me is faster. What I said. I find the inventory and interaction with blocks, like all of it just feels snappier on Java. Oh, I used a sign. Okay. Hmm. I guess I could skip this one. Yeah, maybe we'll do that. M, hello. Hope you're having a good day. That's getting there. Feels a little bit more official. An entrance, and then maybe we'll put one of these over here so it looks like that might swing shut but the idea here is to try to make it look like it's not going to go straight across here but then maybe it would go at an angle you know like it would swing from this corner to like the middle of that block and if we do that then maybe we can get away with putting in some texture in here Nope, that really doesn't work, does it? Maybe some concrete powder? that's in the way there. Trying to make it look like it has scuff marks or whatever. Maybe we'll put this over there. Oh, no, it's too close to that. Darn it. Hmm. 
Alright, I won't worry about that. But I think that's a decent decent solution. Does this look better as dirt? No. Maybe we'll not make it moss though, maybe we'll just make it regular grass. So it's a little bit duller. Oh, controller for Minecraft. Doesn't matter whether you're on Xbox or whether you're on PC. Controller is definitely slow. Not my favorite. Not my favorite. Uh, maybe a stair here. Always something in the inventory that I don't have. Man, I'm gonna have to empty out that shulker soon. Here we can get away with maybe a little bit less mossy stuff going on too. That could be fun. That's pretty good. Maybe we'll add mossy bricks in here instead. A little bit too much of a pattern. So as I said, I just wanted to cover like this immediate area. Get that done. Yeah, I think for me, um, even though I, I've played a lot of console games, I I think my most of my early PC gaming stuff was first person shooters. 
the Medal of Honor, Call of Duty, back when they were like single player games and multiplayer, but like not not modern Call of Duty, like um, World War II stuff. And because of that, any kind of first person game, I much prefer a mouse and a keyboard. Uh, Ryan K. Gregor, yeah, I agree. I I would never try to play a racing game with a mouse and keyboard either. Like I would, I hundred percent want to use a controller. Um, I thought about playing Forza on stream, but um, I'm not super good at it. I feel like I would get self conscious a little bit. Um, but also, there's something nice about having a couple of games when streaming is part of your job. It's nice to have a couple of games that are just for you, like that you don't stream. They're not part of the kind of like the work. That happens. Wonder if a stair would look good here. Yeah, not bad. I think a full bush might look good here. Maybe not. What could go there? Maybe another stair? Nope. do that and I think this has to go down hmm Oops. I feel like that works. this Leave it like that that looks okay wait for night killer dx hello Wait for night, you've played the mobile version for a few times and it's really janky the way they control the game. Yeah, I can see that being a problem. For me, it's just so second nature and, and if it gets in the way of my creativity, then I'm out. I've tried playing a couple of games on Xbox that are 
building games. I tried uh, Valheim, and I, di- I didn't mind the game, but if I was to play Val- Valheim again, I feel like I would play it on PC with a mouse and keyboard. Yeah, I don't know what to put there. I guess I could just put another carrot, maybe? That might be the easiest thing to do. I do have one. Yeah, that's probably the easiest easiest solution. Kind of feel like this needs to go too. That's good. Gregor says, Pocket Edition is quite strange, especially with either a huge joystick for movement or the arrow keys while only really being able to use your thumbs. Yeah, that would be, that would be really slow for me. That's how my niece learned to play Minecraft is on mobile. And she's like super fast at it. So I guess it all depends, right? I have no carpets. might make that gravel. And these would probably end up being mossy. 
This could probably be a stair. Maybe we'll copy what I had before. I'll try to bring that down maybe with mossy cobble here. Hmm, maybe that can go there instead. It's scary how good young kids are at using touchscreens when I've been using them longer than they have been alive since Wave Night. Yeah. Yeah, it's just how quickly young minds adapt, right? I don't think this will look better as moss. Oh, I lied. It might actually look better as a bush. Yep. I guess we can start to do the other parts of the wall. This is all done up through here. I think that looks pretty good. That does feel a little bit strange. What if I just did a straight up brick here? Yeah, that is a little bit nicer looking. I think this is really throwing me. With nothing to cover it up. Yeah. We'll go with that. Now, I thought it might be kind of cool to put it in an archway. We did that over here. But I don't know if I want to do the same thing. ALV7. Uh, I You should do whatever you want to do in your hardcore world. You don't have to do anything. It's a sandbox game. Yeah, I don't think I want to change that too much. I like how it frames the pumpkin cart. Oh, it's an interesting... You know, you got the chimney and the tower. The Even the keep is in there the barracks and stuff and then pumpkin cart and then this way we haven't done it yet but i feel like whatever we put in this area here will be framed by this which would be nice i 
Cool. What's the idea for that area over here? Uh, this is going to be some sort of apiary, some sort of bee farm. It's I had to make a bunch of bees and beehives for one of the builds. I don't know if you can see it from here. You might be able to. Yeah, see the beehives across the top of the roof there that had the gradient? So I did all those and had all these bees, and so I thought I would collect them all. So they've we've got some movement happening over here, and what I'd like to do eventually is do the same sort of thing that I did with this pumpkin farm is that right now they're all in very even rows just because that was the easiest way to lay them out. You can see them right here. But we'll eventually turn that into something a little bit more organic looking with some angled paths and stuff like that. And I think there's going to be another farmhouse probably it might be kind of cool to put the farmhouse kind of where those beehives are and then put the beehives kind of like along the river. That could be kind of cool. And that way I wouldn't have to do like another path to a house. Like seeing how like this house is up off the road, I think maybe here we could just have the house. The house could be like right, right here essentially. Right there. Not like on that space, but like, you know, here or there. Do be careful, they have a tendency to drown near water. Well, we'd be probably this far away. When I say along the river, I mean up here. Man, that's that's looking pretty cool. Definitely feel like there's a way up, right? You just you definitely gravitate gravitate towards the brown. Maybe we'll reverse those. And can I get mossy stairs in here, maybe? Hmm. Don't know about that. I need to start tearing holes in this wall for it to look run down. I did some stairs over here, but they're not up against pumpkins usually. Gonna have some bits falling off the wall too.
Actually, that would be a good spot to do something here. Yeah. Maybe we'll have it dip down here. Oh, maybe not where there's pumpkins. That's not bad. So many things look so similar. I think I need to get a little um, concrete powder as well. With nowhere to put it. I'm not really using these right now. The walls, I think. Actually, that's not bad either. Not exactly what I was going to do there, but... Oops. Could be fun to try to get some deep slate in there, maybe. You know, I think a full block was probably better. Yeah. That's pretty good. Oops. 
Whoops. These have got more moss, but like I really like the little mossy shape that the bricks have on the top. And this could work if we had maybe some bushes happening here. Oh no, I think that still needs a wall. Yeah. Definitely needs more kind of crumbled, crumbled stuff happening. There we go. That works. SU, welcome in. Although my name is Joel, not Joe. Uh, it's not close enough, Sandy. Very different. Yeah, I don't know if this is going to be as, as broken down as the other one. Oh, maybe I don't want to put that there. probably come through here and make a few changes as well. <laughs> Missing the L is a 25% loss. We do need 100% Joel. Well, I appreciate that. That's also quite funny. I feel like if that's going to have moss on it, then we definitely need to have some mossy bricks near it. Or mossy cobble, I guess I should say.
I'm getting there. Thank you, sweet Sandy. Appreciate the heads up. We should be able to finish this part of the wall, I think. I want to do some sort of like lower thing here. That's a little overkill, maybe. And I'm going to sleep again. You know, not bad. It's definitely like it's missing some stuff through here. I just don't want to put a bush in every little corner, you know? Pretty good. I feel like that's connecting. And then we can start to add in some more highlights. Yep. All starts to come together. And then we're right back here. Nice. It's really just a couple of these blocks in the wall. Maybe we'll take this out and make it um, tough. Yep, just need to break this up a little bit here. Maybe have it go down a little bit right there. I 
or not. Maybe this is where we'll have it go down. Just need a pressure plate and we're good. Looked good when it started when you started the stream and now it looks great. Well thank you. I'm glad. Yeah, I feel like it's looking pretty good. I could almost skip this pressure plate and put a vine there. Yeah. We want to do that everywhere, but working there. This is where I want that pressure plate though. Looks good to me. All the small details make a big difference. I agree. Yeah, I think so too. I'll toss in a couple more highlights here and then we can do the road the next time because now that that's done and this is done we can texture the part in between I do find that's a nice way to do it Feels pretty good. Feels better down this end, but I might have some more thoughts when I come back to do the road. Right on. Well, I would say that now really the only thing left to do is this wall here. So we'll have to do the same thing all the way around. So that's actually a bigger chunk. Thankfully, we've got this to work from. Uh, and then we have to do this path here going down to the river but as of right now everything inside the walls is done i don't think i've forgotten anything oh that's a lie i need to do this wall and then we can do the foliage along the back here that was i knew i was waiting for that to get done song o and 88 Welcome in. Thanks for the raid. Party of 14. We are unfortunately just wrapping up, but the good news is I'm going to be passing you along to somebody else that's doing some really cool stuff in Minecraft. So I'll be sending you to... Um, oh, maybe not. I guess Scotsman is... Oh, no, Scotsman is still alive. Cool. Cool, cool. What were you up to on stream? Sango is okay. Perfect. What are we up to? Greetings from, Sp from Spain. Fritch, that's awesome. Laris, 21, welcome in. Thanks for saying hi. For folks just coming in with that raid, if you are unfamiliar, uh, I am Joel Duggan here and on the internet. And I do podcasts and streaming full-time. You can check out things like the Spawn Chunks podcast on YouTube. Just youtube.com slash the Spawn Chunks as well as the Citadel Cafe. It's on YouTube as well, but it's just an audio show. 
uh, the spawn chunks does have a video component uh, and uh, we also have of course the um, the audio on all of your favorite podcasting platforms Spotify Apple all that kind of stuff Akasara thanks for the follow appreciate it so yeah, we've been working on this pumpkin farm for a couple of weeks now and we've just finished all of the details on the inside and uh, what we're going to be doing on Saturday when I come back is the outside wall. You can see it's just roughed in here, but what we're doing is taking it to the level of detail that we have here. And so that's what we've been doing last little while. We also worked on these pumpkin farm bits. Oh, look, our pumpkin grew. We can actually... Say that that's done 100% now. Very cool. Did the other one grow? Yes, perfect. Those are done. Right on. Uh, so I'm going to pass you along to Scotsman UK, who is uh, in no doubt building something epic on uh, his world. So your stream was great, Sango. You did a tour in the SMP. Very cool. Very cool. When this is all done, when I'm finished with this valley, We've got another couple of farms here to go and then that space there i think that's going to be everything and then i'm going to do a decent tour of this town this is a three-year-old build three plus year old build for people that don't know um but it's been a lot of fun to put together so one of the things that um you can do if you want to check out how this was all built is check out joel duggan vods on youtube I don't do any edited video. They're all just stream VODs. So you'll get to see everything all in one um, without any cuts and stuff like that. Uh, Sango, thanks very much. Appreciate that. Uh, you can follow me on Instagram and Twitter at Joel Duggan. I'm very easy to find. I'm, just, I'm stalling here because I want to sleep so we can have the sunlight so I can walk through the town and show people a little bit as I, as I wrap up here. Um, folks in my chat, if you want to go see the SMP tour, that Songo did, by all means, go follow them at Songo and A88 on Twitch. Uh, also, that's for people that are watching this later on YouTube, it's just so you have that username. Appreciate the raid. Very, very kind of you. Uh, we do the Spun Chunks every Monday. The Citadel Cafe is every other Wednesday. From Bogota, Colombia. That's amazing. Thanks so much, Akasara. Very cool. So we'll uh, walk through here. You lurk sometimes as well, Sango. I really appreciate the lurks. Uh, I think it's the lurks are great. Uh, Akasara says that I'm the only first English-speaking Minecraft streamer that you follow. That's cool. You like watching the podcast as well. That's awesome. Thanks so much. Right on. So I'll give you guys a little bit of a glimpse. This is just some of the work that's been done. I don't have time to go in all of the buildings, but yeah, I'm going to be inviting friends over to, to tour the town when I have a chance. Um, but uh, until then, I'll be back tomorrow. Uh, actually, the front gate, that main gate there is the Lego set that we're going to be building on uh, starting tomorrow so that'll be cool uh you can follow that one o'clock atlantic utc minus four hours and then saturday and sunday i'll be back doing minecraft so it uh it is one of those weekends where it will be very very busy but i'm going to pass you along to scotsman uk right now and i will see folks next time thanks again for those raids see you soon bye for now